My only hesitation to be a love and hip hop was the fights and all of that. And even though I'm an aggressive person, I'm not sure if I wanted my fans to see me in that light. Because me know I'm not gonna sit and nobody throw a purse at me and I take it like that or throw a drink at me. And I know the Atlanta girls, they like to turn up. And I was like, okay, I'm going on the show. These girls like to turn up. I might have to show them that, you know, me in charge when me in any room. So I know that there's gonna be a little problem there. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I know my reason for going there was to use the platform to elevate my career and bring it to a different level. So I could showcase my music, showcase Spice, and to bring my brand on the international market a little bit more. long story. Last year, the viewers may have seen Love and Hip Hop going to Jamaica. Carly Red and I were friends. When they came to Jamaica, I was the person that they would come to to show them the island and the vibe. And you know, for them to have a little fun and invite them to my performance in Jamaica as the queen at the stage. When they were in Jamaica, it was like it birthed an idea to me. It was like, you know, this is interesting. You know, it was fun on camera, showcasing your lifestyle. And everybody know me, I'm spicy. I bring a little drama here and there. I'm a little fun. So I was like, you know what? I want to be on Love and Hip Hop. That was it. They said, well, we're going to have casting just like everybody else. It's in New York and whatever. I bought my ticket, I flew up and I did my interview. And I was chosen just like, you know. <laughs> a lot to me to be representing Jamaica on such a big um, platform because at the end of the day I'm now known as the new queen of the dance hall and so I have to bring it it's like they said here it's in your hand I need to take it and show the world that this is my Jamaica this is my genre this is my country this is what we're capable of we know to turn things up we can spice things up like hey you know even though you know you're gonna get backlash about the fights and the this and the that I know what can come after the fights if Cardi B did it then spice can do it too it is something with my performance as the queen at the stage. People love how I dance, how I, how, I, how I perform on stage, the vibe that I bring. It's a part of my culture. When you see me, I whine and I back it up and I big it up and I go on. I grew up seeing whether the skia from dancehall music come up to the butterfly, the whatever they want to call it from back in the days. We grew up like that in Jamaica. So I basically know how to do that from my upbringing. Oftentimes when people meet me, that's the first thing. Teach me how to whine, teach me how to back it up, how to big it up, how to shake that booty, how to shake that ass. So, I mean, that was my first scene on Love and Hip Hop, showing the girls how to perform, how to whine, how to shake that ass and move that booty. So, it was fun showing them how to whine. The food fight. <laughs> the food fight, as you see, was with me and Japan, um, China's girl. What's her name? Tokyo. I felt disrespected that she was calling me a bitch and I just, I just couldn't, I couldn't take it because at the end of the day, for me, if you're going to call me a bitch, you need to put the word boss in front of the word bitch because I'm a boss bitch. I'm the first one to hit a million followers on Instagram out of Jamaica. And when I posted that, I mean, a lot of people were saying within the entire Caribbean, except for Rihanna and Nicki Minaj, of course, but apart from them, because they're not in the race. The first artist to hit a million views, alive. And I use the word alive because Bob Marley has more followers than I do, so I'm the first artist alive. It shows that how, how I've managed to grow my fan base. It's a male-dominated business. You name like most of the more international male artists that you know how to Jamaica. Like, and I'm telling you, any one of them, whether they sold platinum, double platinum, I'm not, I'm not gonna name drop, but I have more followers. So for me, that's a good thing. People want to see Spice. They're interested in my daily life. They like, you know, what I'm doing. So I'm the social media queen. I just want to continue making history. I want to continue doing it. I want to continue waving the flag and continue to doing it for women in dancehall. And right now we have a lot of females in dancehall music that is coming out. And I can say, I believe that it's because of me. Because back in the days, there was only one reigning female. But I came up with my Team Spice dancers and I took on the streets and I show ladies that, listen, you don't have to wait for a selector to play your song. We can get up and go out there to get our music out there. And right now you have so many females that's coming up and I believe that it's because of me I'm setting that trend right now I would say that's like one of my hardest thing 
to be the boss lady right now. A lot of people is like they look up to you for everything. Even like for right now, we have a big festival coming up in Jamaica, the Sumfest Festival. And every walk I walk in Jamaica, everybody seems to be saying, I can't wait to see what Spice is going to do. I can't wait to see what you're going to come with. So it's like, even when you plan something in your head, you're thinking, I wonder if this is not going to surprise them. Or I wonder if it's going to be like, not over the top. So it's really a weight on my shoulder. I don't know what else I can do. I mean, I'm thinking right now, like, what am, what am I going to do? I'm, I came out on a bed. I came out on horse, like a real horse on stage, on the bike, 13 inch heels. I did everything. Like, I guess we're gonna see what else Spice can do. Mama used to tell me, friends not good for you, girl. But I know I will learn the hard way. There are so many things that I can explain to you about friends betraying me, stabbing me in the back, you name it. Like what I can say is you will never know who your real friend is until you and them have a fallout. It's not about what they say to your face, but it's what they say behind your back. And for me, it's a reality song for me. It's like the first song that I wrote that really meant so much to me. I've had a hard time finding real, true, genuine friends that really want to see me win. It's always jealousy and a problem when I keep climbing. Always a problem. And it's funny, that song was supposed to be on my album. But for some reason, um, I don't know, VP just not wanting to put up my album. And that's my challenge that I have in the music right now with VP Records not wanting to put up my album. Everybody can relate to that song when I put it out on Instagram that day. I was like, this song is not even mixed, but you know, that's how I felt that day. Friends not good for you. And everybody's kind of singing that song right now. <laughs> I really put out, um, just quickly, a post on my Instagram on the 8th of April that I was sad and I wanted somebody to talk to. And so many women reached out to me that day in my DMs and my WhatsApp, even close friends. And they was like, wow, that post that you made on Instagram, it is really what I'm going through. Sometimes I just need somebody to talk to and I'm going through this or I'm going through that. And I believe that a lot of women put on this mask and they come out every day and they smile like everything is okay, but deep down inside, we have women in Jamaica that's going through abuse, whether mental or physical abuse, like relationship, they are, they've been battered and broken, some are homeless, jobless, like forget what you see on Instagram. These women out there, they are going through a lot. And when they started to reach out to me as a woman that they look up to, it gave me an idea, like I really need to start a foundation to help these women. So I started Grace Hamilton Woman Empowerment Foundation, and that is basically to empower women. Oftentimes you see women, they fight against each other. They're breaking down each other. They feel like if they don't leave a bad comment about a girl, they don't feel good. I want to change that. I want women to be able to uplift each other, to, sh to show them that we can do it. A lot of people don't know my background, the level of what I've been through. I was homeless. I couldn't find food. Like I've been through so much and look at me now. It doesn't matter where you're coming from. I want to give women that strength. And that's what my foundation is about. I want to give, you know, women in Jamaica a chance to survive and to make it just like Spice. We all can do it. We all can win.